Graveyard Keeper! One of my newest favorite series to be recording. I am loving this game every single second of it. In the last episode, we gave the key to Snake to unlock a secret dungeon down in our cellar. That is right. And Snake literally killed us. Like, sorry if that's spoilers or anything, but he took us into this place and I died. So, I left you guys on a bit of a cliffhanger where we need to figure out what the freaking heck is down there and why snake decided to kill us so we're gonna go into the cellar first things first i'm determined to figure out what the heck is going on with this guy and i need the dang stamp that's what i need is that my bones right there oh you're snake again wow just wow how did you do it is he testing me is this a test what's happening I don't know. I just went back to my hut. Oh, what does that staircase go to? Great, I should be used to it. Life gives me lemons all the time. <laughs> yeah, life definitely gives everyone lemons. You're such a useless idiot, and yes, you're immortal. That's totally not fair. And also, I'm totally not a useless idiot. I am very helpful. I've been doing a lot of things, if, you, if I do say so myself. I hate you. Pardon me? I hate you. <laughs> Let me write this down. Graveyard Keeper can't die. I'm getting some salt from Snake, that's for sure. Hmm, actually, I could use your help. Bro, I just want a stamp. Like, that is all I want. Now that your immortal ass is here, I've decided that I don't want to die in this dungeon. Who says you're gonna die in the dungeon? What dungeon? What is happening? Right up here. It was here even before the church, and nobody knows how deep it goes. In ancient times, they nailed heretics to the wall and scorched their legs before an ancient, before the ancient contract. Okay, so how can I help? What do I have to do with this? I have my sources, so I always know where to find what I need. And at this point in my plan, for retribution, a lot of things I need are in that dungeon. First, I need a bucket of blood. I have so much blood upstairs, like, I don't need to get a bucket from down there and five bloody nails. You should be able to find them on one of the first levels where the pagans were tortured. Oh my God. This is so spooky. Sounds like someone's moaning for help. Are you there? Maybe, maybe not. This place holds many things. Not that I care, unless I have to do with my plan, unless they have to do with my plan. Hmm, I should check. Oh, we're, we're checking something? There's like a person. Oh my god, there's a person! Holy guacamole! Oh my god, his voice is scary. Indeed, what a pleasant surprise. I've been so desperate to see someone again. Are you alive? Do you need help? Let's just say I'm conscious. I'm con- conscious? Conscience. Why, why am I having a hard time with that word? I'm conscious. Uh, I'm glad to hear you so kindly offer your help. My name is Gunter. There should be a lever on the right. Uh, got it. Oh, we're helping Gunter. Great, I'm surprised it's still working. Now would you be so kind as to hit me with your sword a couple of times? Are you like a superhuman? Superhero? Holy moly. Uh, could you first answer a question? <laughs> I mean, we're here, might as well. Please hit me first. I haven't felt anything in so long. Okay. Hit Gunter with a sword. Okay, Gunter. All right. Hiya. Hey, we hit him and he's happy. Oh, that's good. First feeling I've had for many years. Now I'll be happy to answer your question. Uh, who are you? Uh, like I said, I'm Gunter. Are you dead? Hmm, that's a complicated question, personally. I prefer to be called an undead person. But in popular culture, they're known as zombies. We found our first zombie. Why did you ask me to hit you? Oh, in my current situation, I can feel nothing. First, it was a nightmare. But then I found out that I can still feel pain. It doesn't feel like pain, though. More like a gentle breeze. But still, it's all I have. I can hit you again if you'd like. It's very kind of you, but I must refuse. After so many years, your strikes were truly a pleasure. 
It will be a couple of years before I can feel anything like it, and I have a little flesh on my bones to waste it. And I have a little flesh on my bones to waste it. How did you become a zombie? Or undead? Science. Plus a little bit of magic. The old master had me, actually. He made a lot of us. Do my brothers still work at the graveyard? No, I think there's only you, sir. <laughs> By the way, I'm the new graveyard keeper. Oh, then you should make me some more brothers. They're, uh, they'll be a big help for you. How can I make new undead? Oh, it's quite simple. You can find a resurrection table blueprint on the rack to your left. Okay. There should also be a couple bottles of main re resurrection ingredients nearby. You can make more at the alchemy desk. Do you know the recipe? Well, the second ingredient is blood. I'm not sure about the first, but I think it's some kind of powder. Hmm, will they be like you? Sadly, no. I am unique. Something went wrong with me. I was too smart. That's why the old master chained me here. I didn't fit in. Well, I can unchain you. I've been chained up here for too long. My flesh is too rotten. Plus, I kind of like it here. So, how can your brothers help? Oh, they can do simple crafts for you. If you give them the right gear, they'll be able to gather resources for you and even transport them. What gear? Hmm, I believe one zombie should be buried under the rock along the path to the forest. I believe one zombie should be buried under the rock. Okay, you can dig him up and examine his gear. Okay, so me trying to remember that might be hard, but... Resurrection table, let's go, baby! Oh, that's kind of sick. And we got zombie deuce. Holy smokes, you guys. I was not expecting all this today. That is the last thing I expected. Can I, like, break these pots? I can. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, cool. Can I pick things up and do things? So, I guess, um... Gunter's just gonna stay here, right? Uh, okay, we'll ask him about those later. And then this is just a broken cabinet. Okay, let's just go exploring. Let's see what's down here. Ooh, we can fix this up. Very good. Although I don't have too much energy. Oh, I always think we're fixing things and we're literally just breaking them down. What is this? There's a creepy cage I can like go behind. That is very interesting. Okay, so we can just kind of break break a bunch of stuff. There was a book there. So there's something down here. Oh, this is where they would definitely keep prisoners. Oh, we got beet seeds. I was looking for that in the last episode. Can I pick up the skull? No? Okay. Um, I think I have mushrooms on me. Yeah, let's eat one of these. And then I think I can... Can I check in here? No. All right. Again, just looking around, guys. I thought that this, uh, this would be something, this body here, but I guess not. I don't know, I'm, I'm kind of nervous about bringing zombies into the world, but also it does sound exciting. So I also want to go through here. Oh, we got a medieval torture chamber. Very spooky, if I do say so myself. There's the keeper's diary! We did it! Didn't we need to bring this to the astrologer? Uh, yeah, collect the keeper's diary from the church cellar. Astrologer. Very good. I thought we were going to find this earlier, but we did not. We did not. Snake, why can we just, can we, oh, it says we can talk business. I was told that you could give me some illegal stuff for me. If you heard that I can do something, then I probably can. But one good turn deserves another. So I need a royal stamp or I need a town pass. So yeah, we have to have 30 friendship points and if we give him the bucket of blood and the nails then we will be at 30. Oh, it's always something new with this guy. It's always something new. I want to head down here. Oh, we're going into the dungeon. You guys, I have no gear. Oh my god, the music got scary. So, it, I mean, I'm immortal, right? Like I can I can just kind of chill. Little scraps. Okay, not enough energy. Are you kidding me? Come on now. I don't have time for this. This music is bumping. Okay, this is probably a bad idea. Let me go clear off my inventory and then we'll come back. <laughs> the music was like, boom, 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 boom. 
I was like, gosh, dang, okay. Man, we have come so far. We have come so far in this series. It is unbelievable to me. And I'm beyond excited about it. Yeah, I still don't have a circular saw. I do have a feeling that that place is going to be very, very dangerous. And if we know anything from checking our technologies, we once we get better at, um, where is it? Not book writing. Was that theology? This? Oh yeah, weapon, sword, and armor. That's kind of good. And I can unlock it, which is nice. But, well, I can't right now because I don't have the 55 points, but, you know, I could get upgraded tools. Hmm. See, this is where I'm at a roadblock. I'm like, what do I need to do? I also wanted to, like, grow crops today. I have so many things in my inventory that we need to, like, pick up and organize. Yeah, first things first, organization. Uh, so let's put some metal scraps in there. So those are different than these complex iron parts. Okay, that's good to keep in mind. And then... Keeper's Diary, Zombie Juice. We gotta figure out where to put all this stuff. I mean, this stuff is pretty easy. Um, these can go inside, so that's fine. Yeah, blueprint for the trunk. This is only 10. I'm gonna do that. Um, so is that gonna unlock the trunk at, like, everywhere? So that if I wanna put a trunk down, I can. I can't believe it took me this freaking long to get to know that I can put trunks anywhere I freaking want. Oh my god, you don't even know how happy that makes me. That makes me so stoked. Okay, oh, that's fantastic. Okay, so carrot seeds, we are gonna go ahead and plant all these because if we don't get more carrots... We can't complete that quest, and we also can't have food for the donkey. So then, beet seeds. I do have four of these. We can get those replanted. Beautiful. So the only thing that we don't really have is is uh, these guys, which is fine. We don't really need cabbage right now. Yeah, like I said, if we're gonna be uh, doing stuff, we need to just we need to if we go down to the dungeon. We need to start putting stuff away because my inventory is just cluttered and full of all kinds of junk. So we need nails, simple iron parts, and flitch. Okay, that's super easy. Nails, simple iron parts that I do not have but can make. I don't have enough energy. Story of my life. Story of my life in this game. Goodness. Yeah, cooking cooking is something we're, we're going to get more into, which I'm excited for. Let's actually bring that back down because we really only need one right now. I'm just still in the mode of like crafting what I need instead of over crafting. More energy, okay. Use those. Very good. Okay, let's go see if we can get a trunk in the church. I'm fingers crossed we can because I actually haven't tried this yet. I should go around and collect some more mushrooms. All right, heading over to our blueprint board, we can craft a chest. Beautiful. Look how cool. Oh, uh, where can I put this? Oh, okay. Can I rotate? You can rotate. Oh, that's amazing. Okay, so you can have two chests in here. That's actually really nice. We'll have to do that eventually. But yes, oh my gosh. I don't know why I didn't even think you could rotate. That's so silly of me. There it is. There's our chest. Nice. So we can keep our faith and our sermons. Um, I think I want to keep like the journals in here. Uh, actually, do I? Yeah. Maybe. I don't know. I feel like I should keep these in like my... A different part of my house actually is maybe we could just put we could put another chest in my house maybe yeah so we'll just keep my like church related things in here oh i just saw those grow right in front of my eyeballs it was actually super cool kind of like when it does that all right so cabbage seeds it usually thing it gives you three which is just a kick in the kick in the teeth like come on give me four man do I have any extras in here? Of course I do not. Of course I do not. No biggie. That's okay. We can go get more of those later. Um, right now we're pretty much just working on the beats though. So can I craft up a, a trunk chest in here? Red eye painting, utensils, cooking table, donkey of the worlds unite, <laughs> cupboard? Whoa, old fashioned cupboard? Can I use the cupboard for storage? Common carpets? Flower? Whoa! Vines? I didn't even know I could do this stuff. This is really cool. Household utensil rack? 
I'm curious about getting a cupboard in here. Like, can I... Can I put stuff in the cupboard? Because <laughs> that would be awesome. I'm, I want to make one more metal part just to see. If the cupboard, cupboard is not functional game, I might be mad at you, honestly. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. <laughs> it always runs out. It's okay. Let's go to sleep. Okay, here we go. This should be all good. Let's go make a cupboard. Oh, I'm excited about this, guys. This could actually be really cool if it looks nice. Okay. Uh, wait, is this the cupboard? What just happened? Wait, this is a cupboard. No, get up. <laughs> get up, get up, get up. This is- a did I just waste materials like making something that I already had and then it was like it just glitched? Because I thought I was going to be able to place a cupboard in there. Common walls, skull and bats. This is- isn't- what is happening? I don't even know what's happening. So we are going to get the parts that we need for this trunk. I'm probably going to have to go iron mining soon. So I'm running a little low on my parts, but I did want to get a trunk out here. And what I'm going to do with this trunk is probably just put- uh some of my stuff in it like um put like my book stuff and all the kind of weird random things that we have let's see yeah i kind of didn't set this up <laughs> not set this up very good did i all right let's go build this it's all crafted good to go nice and then here yeah we let's like put my paper zombie juice key that is like all this stuff that's just like insanely cluttering my inventory we can put there and this stuff can go there awesome beautiful amazing lovely all the words that go with that okay so far so good i'm feeling better so now what we have to do is we need to figure out how we are going to get points uh no not that we gotta get points or our gear our weapons so we need 55 which uh 55 crafting points well i did say i wanted to go iron mining and crafting up iron is probably a good way to do that uh, so i guess that's the move i'm gonna do a little bit of collecting for some iron uh and possibly some uh wood i guess and just yeah just do that <laughs> i don't know okay we're already almost at 40 so that's making me feel pretty good uh i should go collect some mushrooms oops okay that's never mind <laughs> never mind on that you know where we haven't been we haven't really been up here kind of curious i just want to go explore a little bit i know this is not what i'm supposed to be doing but i i we, i don't think we've been up here right i don't even know what this place is has maybe this has like new rocks and stuff what am i doing am i collecting like fruits honey and beeswax oh my gosh that's how i got honey oh there's another one here oh this is fun wait a second we're figuring out the honey thing so this is where you get honey cool oh nice we're gonna have enough honey for dig soon Ooh, what's this can repair this too broken oh apiary nice we can have bees up here oh this is cool i haven't even been up here this is crazy what is this okay so we need wood wedges planks okay that's easy clear the path that's super easy i wonder what's up there dang and there's like a well, there's a ton of stone up here so is this where we could get I could have sworn we could get stone with something else. Oh, look, there's another, another... Oh, wait, we got this one, right? Yeah. So, do the, the bees give honey every day? Is that something? Oh, look at the waterfall! Ah, oh, it's beautiful. This this is, like, such a cool area, and I can't... Oh. Oh, wow. They really got the sounds in here. All right. We do not have enough energy. Oh, today is blue moon day though we should take the journal to the astrologer so i definitely had a plan for today like the whole dungeon thing we'll try to get to it but if not we might have to hold it up for the next episode so i'm really sorry guys i know 
I like leaving you on cliffhangers a little bit though, if I'm if I'm being honest. But I think it would be great to go see the astrologer if we could. Uh, I don't have any energy, so that's fine. We're just gonna run over, see the astrologer, and call it a day. There's Dig. Don't worry, Dig. I'm getting your honey for you. <laughs> Eventually, I will have some that you can make cake with. I think is what he wanted to do with it, if I remember co co correctly. Correctly. Ah, oh, Dig is a very interesting, interesting character in this game. But I, I really enjoy all the characters in the game. The Inquisitor is kind of a jerk snake you know most of the people actually are kind of a jerk but at the same time they're all kind of cool too so i don't know like it's they they're all very interesting great great how many important things there must be in this book amazing that's good glad i make you feel alive <laughs> so how can i open the portal on which hill yes give me all the answers how can i do it let me see you need to craft a spirit laser but i don't know what a laser is sorry should be crafted on the pedestal in front of the portal you need to craft it in two parts an emitter and a barrel and here we have three parts of the emitter a mirror of pride eternal burning coal and a salty fork Okay, what about the second part? The second part of the book text is covered with something sticky. It needs to, uh, I need to clean it off first. I think I'll need some acid and restoration tools to clean it. Oh man. Get some acid to read the second part, get restoration tools. Okay, so where can I find that stuff? He wrote that his friend believed that all of these things could be found in the town. Hmm, I don't understand this, but he wrote that they were the soul of the town. It all sounds like a delusion of delusion to me. Magic, hmm? What nonsense. If I were you, I'd start with something you can see. First, I'd check the pedestal near the portal. Second, try to get to the town and find those items. Ah, oh, I can now create acid. Interesting. So about that acid, do you know where... Uh, where can I find any acid? I gave up alchemy many years ago. It's really a dead-end occupation, but I think I know where you can get some acid. There should be an old woman in the swamp. She's definitely crazy, but in the in the distant past, she sold chemical ingredients. About the restoration tools. Do you know where I can find the restoration tools? There we may have a problem, young man. The Inquisition destroyed them all. Fools. They believe that past can only bring harm and curses. But I think you might still be able to find some on the black market. Somebody with criminal connections can help you. That sounds like Snake. Uh, I definitely know the right guy. Should I talk to Snake? Yep. Okay. All right. We are getting deeper and deeper into this. Are you ever going to give me a fishing rod? Oh, yeah. I need the moths. That's right. That's right. That's right. Gosh. See, this game is making me spend money. <laughs> and money in the form of tech points oh yeah i don't have any energy what am i doing it's like i want to do something and then it's like you need to spend your tech point it's like okay i want to save up my money or my tech points to do something but then it's like no you have to spend your tech points on this other thing because you need to do it for a villager and i'm like ah i'm trying to save up 200 tech points so i can get a circular saw so i can get over the bridge so i can talk to the witch and i can get the acid and and I can't do that because I just have so much dang stuff to do. But you know what? It makes it fun. I actually, you know, it can feel a little bit overwhelming doing like having feeling feeling like you have so much to do. But I am personally enjoying the fact that I have so much to do because it makes it so that I feel like I'm it makes it feel like I can pick and choose what I want to do instead of the game kind of forcing me into one direction or the other. Like, if I want to plant crops today, I can. If I want to go into the dungeon today, I can. If I want to go talking to villagers, I can. If I want to do a body or a cremation, I can. If I want to decorate my house, I can. Like, if I want to go up and look at the bees, I can. There's so much that I can do in this game. And although at at first it was very overwhelming i feel like now that i'm starting to get the flow and i'm understanding the game it has just been really enjoyable and i get to choose what i want to do 
and it's fantastic. So it really is amazing. Um, anyways, 55 points. We're really, really close on this. And that's what I want to do. I want to get the sword. Although I'm not even sure if we're going to be able to like craft the sword or upgrade it or what other things we're going to need for that. But I'm going to go in, go to sleep, and then I'm going to see if maybe we can finish out this episode by unlocking the sword. Because we kind of did do a lot of other things that I wasn't anticipating. And we might have to save the dungeon for a next episode, which just keeps the series going, guys. Gives you something to look forward to. So I see it as a great thing. <gasps> Today is Purple Sunday. Okay. <laughs> well, we're going to go do our sermon first. That definitely needs to be the case. So let's grab out all of my... my uh, oh, my sermon stuff is in the church. That's right. That's why we did that. <laughs> We need to go do a sermon. Make sure we get that done every single purple Sunday. That is very important in this game. I'm learning like we need those faith points. Uh, we also so like I'm curious on if I should be saving up to talk to Miss Charm because I don't know. To me, that didn't really seem all of that big a deal, but maybe it is. Maybe she can help us. So maybe I should be saving my faith points. I don't know. But anyways, let's um get this sermon rolling i really do need to try to start improving my church hey i did add a chest you guys <laughs> i'd like to say a few words our church is great i like bro you say that every week and now let us pray for this blessing i mean hey so far i'm doing a dang good job although i do need more benches because this guy's just like i'm just standing your donations are welcomed great sermon great sermon great sermon Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thousand applause and thank yous. <laughs> okay, so I got one one faith from that. So they're not very impressed. Yeah, result failed. Ah, uh, okay. Faith received one. Success chance was 50. That's not bad, but not great. We need to get on top of that kind of stuff a little bit more. Okay. Anyways, uh, I, I'm thinking the best way for me to get the red red points is to just go ahead and uh get some stone mined up so that's giving me 45 we just need 50 so we need five more stone shouldn't be too difficult there's stuff scattered all over here it is a new day as well i'm very intrigued to go see about the bees too it's it's total tangent from what we're doing but i'm i'm down with it if possible Ooh, this is like a big rock maybe this will give me extra that'd be nice no, <laughs> give me one. Wishful thinking, my voice is dying. Gosh, it never gets old in my videos, does it? I should start doing a thing where like, what, you guys should leave down in the comments section what time of the video, what timestamp in every video my voice dies. 50, we did it. Oh, I need 55. Gosh, I need to pay attention. <laughs> 55, what is this building? Like, right? This looks like it's going to be a building of some kind. Do we actually get to fix this up? You know, it's going to be kind of crazy because I can't wait to see what my, like, my area looks like once it's all fixed up and fancy and, like, all the shrubs are all taken care of and everything. It's going to be really cool, right? Okay, we just need one more. And then I'm going to go through and try to see if I can talk to the bees. Do a little bit more gathering. Yeah, it looks like we can do this on a daily basis. Well, there is only two trees up here, so we're gonna have to wait one more day until we can go take this to dig. And I'm interested what he's going to, uh, what he's gonna tell us or what he's gonna do with it. There's so many things in upcoming episodes. It's it's so exciting. Can't even believe it. And also, like, oh, we have. There's so many games coming out soon too. Like. That are going to be entering the channel like so many new series so just stay tuned guys again hit the subscribe button i've really been trying to say that in my videos because i do want to this is a new channel and i do want it to like do well and stuff but here we go so iron armor and a sword we can get that unlocked so now where do i make this is the question carpenter's workbench very good carpenter's workbench where is that again? Is that this thing? Sometimes I forget. Here we go. Skin and simple iron parts. I've got that. Iron chisel. I wonder what that's for. Okay, so this is made with the carpenter's workbench, but where's the sword made? 
Probably an anvil, right? Okay, let's go grab my skin and let's make up some more simple iron parts. All right, simple iron parts are in the works. Very, very good. My skin is inside. Hopefully I have four of these. That's what I'm a little bit worried about. I only have three. Ah, oh, crud monkeys. Okay, well, we might be able to get another body here. Ah, oh, I need ten? That's so annoying. Because I swear he said he wanted five. Aw, oh, man. All right, guys. Oh, wait, I have carrots grown. Oh, my gosh, blessing. The crops have blessed me. All right, guys, so what we might have to do is... Oh, my gosh. I think we have enough... Uh, we now have enough beets, too, to do that quest. Oh, I'm so excited for next episode. We have so much we can do. Holy crud monkeys. Anyways, okay, so <laughs> what we're gonna do, guys, is I think I'm going to probably end the episode here. I gotta wait until another body comes so I can get the skin, but I do want to um, try to see if we craft at the anvil. Oh, I got a red point. Nice. Is this where I make my sword? Yes. Okay. Do I need hemp rope? I think I can get that from dig. I believe and then we need complex iron parts okay so i might have to do a little bit of work in between episodes to maybe wait just just wait for a body basically um but that is gonna have to do it it's it's downpouring so i'm gonna go inside but anyways thank you guys so much for watching this episode i'm sorry we didn't get to the dungeon today we will be doing that in an upcoming episode so thank you so much for being patient with me and for enjoying this series if you are it really means a lot to me because i have been enjoying this game so so much but anyways thank you guys for watching i hope you all have a very beautiful wonderful day and i'll talk to you in the next graveyard keeper episode bye guys mm -hmm.